What is going on, everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And we're going to talk about part two in the Kubernetes and Go series. This week, it's going to be all about AKS or Azure Kubernetes Services and Go, specifically deploying a Go application to Azure Kubernetes Services. Now, if you're not familiar with Azure Kubernetes Services, essentially what it is is Microsoft handles the master node for you, AKA the API server, and all you have to worry about are the worker nodes and the application that you're deploying. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm at the Azure portal here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to spin up a Kubernetes server. Now I was thinking about doing this in like Terraform or the Azure Cli or Go itself or something like that, but I didn't know what people would be comfortable with. So I figured just doing it through the portal would be the easiest. So from the search bar, I'm going to type in Kubernetes and then we're going to see Kubernetes services. We're going to click on add and go to add Kubernetes cluster. And then you're going to pick your resource group that you want your AKS cluster to live in. So for example, I'm going to put mine in Dev2. I'm going to give this a name, YouTube AKS 92. And then I'm going to choose the region. Since I'm in New Jersey, East US is the closest to me. So I'm going to choose East US. And then I'm going to be able to choose which zones I want this to be in. Now, here's the thing. This is just completely a dev environment, so I don't really care. However, if this isn't a dev environment for you and it is a production-based environment, as you can see, this does provide high availability for you to spread out your AKS clusters across multiple regions and multiple zones. So in this case, I'm just going to choose one. And then I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose my Kubernetes version. Since we like to play it on the dangerous side, I'm going to choose the preview version of 119.3. And then I'm going to be able to choose my node size. So again, this is just a dev environment. So I don't really need this to be a huge virtual machine or anything like that. I'm literally going to go to an A series and choose an A2 V2, like R2D2. <laughs> and then I'm going to choose my node count. And my node count, again, you could span this all the way up if you wanted to, but I'm just going to choose one. The node count is the worker node of the virtual machines that are running that we just chose the node size for. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to choose one. And then I'm going to click next here for authentication. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this the default. It's just going to be a service principle. I'm going to go to networking. Again, I'm going to keep this default. KubeNet is like the uh, the basic Kubernetes networking and then the Azure CNI is where you can choose things like the cluster subnet and the CIDR range and stuff like that. I'm going to keep it basic. I'm going to go to next, review and create. And then this is going to go ahead and it's going to create the service principle. It's going to run the validation and then we're going to be able to create. Now, the reason why I went through that really fast is because I just wanted to get you up and running with like a basic setup for AKS. I didn't want to go through each step because really what this video is about is deploying a Go application to AKS, not setting up AKS. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click create here. And then this is going to go through and this is going to start to create our AKS cluster for us, which could take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. You pause the video too, and we'll be right back. And as we can see, our deployment was successful. So if I go to go to resource, we can see here our new AKS cluster. So now that we have our new AKS cluster, we want to actually deploy an application to this AKS cluster, specifically a Go application. So I'm going to open up VS Code here, and this is going to be the same application that we saw in part one, which was deploying this application to Minikube. But let's just quickly go over this manifest. So first we have our API version, we're using V1. The kind, we're using a deployment type. We have some metadata, so we have the name, which is Go Web API, and then we have the match labels on line eight, which is going to have app as the key, and then Go Web API as the value. We're creating two replicas here, and then we have our template and our spec. So our spec is gonna be for that image, which is at admin turn DevOps slash Go Lang Web API latest. That's where our Docker image lives in Docker Hub. And then we have our container ports. And then what we have down here is the service as well. So we're also creating a service. And this service is just going to point back to that deployment with the key name and the value Go Web API. And then the same thing for the selector. The key is going to be app. And then the value is going to be Go Web API with port 8080 open over TCP. So now that we have our application here, what we need to do is we need to authenticate 
to our AKS cluster from a terminal. And what that's going to do is that's going to put the authentication so we can actually get into AKS in our cube config. Now, the one thing is to be able to do this, you do need to have the Azure CLI up and running. And if you don't have the Azure CLI up and running, you can simply Google it and you can see all of the information right here. So now that we're right at the terminal, what we're going to do is we're going to type AZ AKS get credentials. So the first thing is we're going to have to type in our resource group name. It's going to be dev2. And then we're going to have to type in our AKS name. So if I go back here, we can see that this is the name of our AKS cluster. I'm going to type N hyphen N and then the name of the AKS cluster here. And as we can see, our current context is now set in our cube config as this AKS cluster. So with that, let's deploy our application. So I'm gonna type LS here. And if we go CD into Kubernetes, LS again, we can see here's our go kubernetes.yaml, same thing that we have open right here. We're gonna run kubectl, create, minus F, go Kubernetes YAML. And as we can see, our deployment and our service has been created. It's probably gonna take a little bit for those to get created though. So we'll run kubectl, get deployment, right? You can see that we gotta wait a few moments here. We'll run kubectl, get pods. We can see that they are still creating, which is perfectly fine. And we can see that the deployments are successful. We have our pods here. If we run kubectl get deployments, here's our application. If we run kubectl get service, our service is successfully up and running. And one last place that we can check here, if we go back to the Azure portal and then under monitoring, you're gonna see something called insights. If you click on insights, it's gonna collapse that. And then if we go to containers, once this loads up, we can see that our GoWeb API container is running successfully. We have that green checkbox. And then from this pane over here, we can see some information about our GoWeb API container, the image that it's using, the tag when it was created, the status, CPU, memory, and then any environment variables if any are needed. And with that, that's how you can successfully deploy a GoWeb API container with a pod and a deployment when two replicas in AKS. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.